So, did you know about this hidden gem in Excel? It's called the date diff function, and it's used to find the difference between two dates. It's an undocumented function, meaning it won't appear anywhere in Excel, and its arguments are also hidden. Why is this? I'll explain in a minute. Let's dive straight into the basics of how to use this function. So, we have a start date of 1st of January 2022, and an end date of April 5th, I beg your pardon, 4th of May 2023, which happens to be today's date as I speak. Now, as I said, there's no documentation for this function in Excel. However, there is documentation on the web. Simply go onto Google and search for date diff and the first entry will take you to the official Microsoft page with all the information you need. The syntax shows there are arguments for start date, end date and unit. The first two are self-explanatory. The unit, however, refers to the type of information you want returned, and there are six options. For our first example, let's use Y, which returns the number of complete years in the date range. So we reference our start date and end date, and then the unit in quotation marks. Confirm the formula, and we have a result of 1 which makes sense because there is one complete year in this date range. If we do the same thing for months this time, it returns 16 as there are 12 complete months in 22 and four others in 23. And for days, we get 488 as that's the number of complete days from and including 1st of January 22 up to but not including 4th of May 23. So if you want the end date to be included, you need to add on one. So that's the easy three out of the way. Let's move on to the more confusing ones. MD calculates the difference between the days in start date and end date, ignoring months and years. So here we're only looking at the day part of the date and it's counting one up to but not including four, so three is returned. YM calculates the difference between the months in the start date and end date, ignoring days and years. Four is returned as it's counting January, February, March and April. The final one is YD, which gives us the difference between the days of start date and end date, ignoring years. The result is 123, which is the number of days from and including 1st of January up to but not including 4th of May. So what is the issue with this function? Well, earlier you saw the list of units on the Microsoft web page and there was a caveat for why you shouldn't use MD and it goes on to give a workaround at the bottom of the page. I'll give you one example. We have a start date of the 31st of January 23 and an end date of 1st of March of the same year. If we use the MD unit on these dates, we get a result of minus two instead of one as you might expect it to be. So this function works perfectly well the vast majority of the time and the problems associated with it generally only affect the MD unit. So if you do want to use that, you're better off seeking an alternative method like the one displayed on the Microsoft web page.